when I woke up, AJ was gone. Which, of course, isn't an unusual occurrence with her. She's an early riser, trying to get a few hours of work in at the orchard before school for the longest time. Now, it's just a grain in her nature. Me? I was always a few minutes shy of being an early riser, and was always down for a nap, and the orchards were a great place for those. I got up and mended my way downstairs, yawning and scratching my bed head into something resembling orderly locks. I looked long into the mirror after using the bathroom and brushing my teeth. Would AJ like it if I grew my hair out a bit and styled it? Or would she be upset if I changed it at all? I had settled on the spiky feathered locks out of simplicity. A few seconds in the morning were all I needed to be ready. I once heard Rarity say she spent an hour on her hair some days. I don't have the patience for that. Hey Dash, Apple Bloom said as I walked into the kitchen. You're up early. Dangers of sleeping over at a farm girl's house, I said, dropping into a chair. I'm sure I'll find a nice tree to nap under later today. Just don't do it in the West Orchard, she said as she pulled on a wide-brimmed hat. It's due to get sprayed later today, on account of that weevil infestation we found. I nodded, another yawn sneaking out as I did. I got up and rummaged in the cupboard for a moment before sitting down with a bowl of cereal and a glass of orange juice. I tried to focus on planning my workout for today, but I kept thinking about last night. AJ had let me talk at her parents' graves and gave me privacy while I did it. That was something that spoke volumes to me about how she felt about me, how much she trusted me trusted me with her parents. And I was worried. How was I going to screw things up this time? I ate the cereal in silence, my mood turning the sugary meal slightly sour in my mouth. I had an idea, and I had just enough time to do it before my training session. I bent over at the waist for a moment, then stood and put my hands on my head expanding my ribcage which allowed for maximum expansion and let you catch your breath faster. Bending over actually compressed your lungs and takes longer to recover from exertion and was one of the first things you learn when you're serious about making a professional team. I had just done a 500 yard dash, timing myself about using my newfound speed. My time was down two seconds, but it still was too slow for my tastes. I'd never qualify for a starting spot with these times. I kicked at the grass angrily as I walked up a small hill and plopped down under a weathered old tree that grew out next to the racetrack. I couldn't figure it out. I was fast, no doubt. I had destroyed records back at CHS, but trying to shave another three seconds off a 500 seemed impossible. I scrubbed my hands across my face and sat there with my eyes closed as my breathing returned to normal. When I opened my eyes again, they fixed on an icy bottle being held out in front of me. I looked at it dumbly for a second, trying to figure out where the bottle of water had come from. You gonna take it, or am I gonna have to dump it on you? A voice came from behind me. I looked up and saw a peach arm holding the bottle and the arm was connected to the farm girl I loved, even if I couldn't quite say it to her yet. Her face was split in a grin, the spray of freckles across her face even more evident from the angle I was seeing them from. The ones on her cheeks were the ones that everyone thought of, but there was a smatter of smaller ones across the bridge of her nose. They gave the usually serious woman a girlish charm. And I've got to say... They looked good on her. I took the bottle and sipped it slowly. When did you get here? I asked. About the time you kicked the grass, she said, 
sitting next to me and rubbing my shoulders. What's he now, you ace? I smirked at the nickname. She had started calling me that when I had legit won against her in a dogfight simulator. The first time we played without me worrying about looking bad. It had started as a joke and grew into something more. I hadn't really picked up on it until our recent outing involving a hang glider. It was kind of fitting. I felt the smirk die into a frown and just sipped at the water. <sighs> I'm not fast enough, I said. You're joking, right? She said, tipping her hat back with her thumb. Even after that boot at camp? I mean without that, I said, hoisting the stopwatch around my neck. I need to get three seconds faster, but I can't seem to hit it. <sighs> I think I'm against the wall. Why is it important to be that quick? She asked. You already made the quarter of the team, and you'll be training against folk who have slower times to begin with. I squirmed internally, not wanting to answer. But I also knew that she could read me like one of those near Finney's graphic novels Flutter had gotten into. I don't just want to be good, I said. I have to be at my best, otherwise it's not worth it. Now, I know we're not having one of those fits again, she said, turning the stern look at me. It might have been a needing to be on the cruise, but I don't see why you're thinking like this again. I ran my hand through my sweat-soaked hair, the worry and exasperation overflowing. Because I don't want to screw this up, I cried, unable to stop some tears from bubbling up. She looked at me shocked as I started rambling. This is the best thing I've got on AJ, I said. Between the spot on the team and you, this is the best my life has been in a long time. I'm just worried that if I can't stand up from the rest of the head, I won't get any real playtime. And that will hurt my chances on the pro teams. But beyond that, there's you. Me? She responded in surprise. You are more than a stupid show-off deserves, I said, staring at my feet. I just wonder when I'm going to do something that'll drive you off and make you realise that you deserve better. And even though you have the farm, I still want to be able to contribute if you get super serious like Twy and Sunset. <sighs> I, I, I want to... You want to prove that you can pull your own weight, she finished. Dash, you ain't got to impress me. You know that. I feel like I'm just drifting sometimes, AJ, I admitted, leaning over and resting my head against her shoulder. I don't know what I'm doing sometimes. She ran a hand along my shoulders. I know, sugar cube. She whispered, I know. I closed my eyes for a second. I don't want to screw this up, AJ. I felt her hand slow a little. Us, I mean. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. On the other half, I'm scared stiff inside. I don't know what I'm doing either, she said softly. She put a hand under my chin and brought me up to look her in the face. Rarity's the one with more dating experience out of all of us, next to Sunny. I don't know for sure how this is supposed to work. Apples, them I know. She looked over towards the farm, just visible from the hill we were sitting on. Soil, fields, ploughing and sowing, harvest time, planting season, them things I know. But my heart, it confuses the ever-loving blazes out of me sometimes. She looked back at me, her emerald eyes glittering. I may not understand it, but I know when something's important to me. And you are, Rainbow Dash, she whispered. You are important. I smiled a little, but I still felt down. Thanks, AJ, I said. She reached over and nabbed the stopwatch from around my neck, the safety cord popping open as she pulled. She grinned at me and took off her hat and set it to the side. As I watched, 
she pulled the tie from her hair and ruffled it, its fullness causing it to cascade down around her shoulders like liquid gold. What? I started to say. I'll make you a deal, she said. If you can run round the five hundred in the time, you get a kiss. She put her finger on my lips as a grin spread. But if you don't, you gotta help me harvest the South 40 tomorrow. No magic allowed. I grimaced. The fact that I could fly in the orchards as I helped pick from time to time was pretty much the only reason I volunteered when I did. That, and the blonde country girl sitting next to me, of course. Seems you got all the benefits, I said with a smirk. Help with harvesting or kissing a smoking hot girl. Hmm. You gonna run? She said with a smile, holding up the stopwatch. Or are you gonna flap your gums all day? Just say the word, I said, jogging over to the starting line. Go! It's getting late, she whispered into my ear, as we sat under the tree a few hours later. I nodded, thinking... Yeah, it is, I said. Rainbow, she said. Why are you so worried about screwing things up? You've been doing fine just so far. I don't know, I said. Sometimes it feels too good to be true. And you know the old saying, I sure do, she responded nodding. Thing is though, Neither of us know what we're doing, but we seem to be doing just fine. I ruffled my hair a little, sighing. But isn't love supposed to be this massive flood of emotions? I asked. I mean, I keep hearing how people in love can't stop thinking about each other, doing little things for each other and generally being annoying, I chuckled. But we aren't like that. Oh, she said. I saw flowers on my folks' grave today, and I know they didn't come from our garden. I blushed. It seemed appropriate, I whispered. And running interference for me on AB's birthday. You worked hard in their surprise party, I said. I didn't want the effort wasted. Okay then, she said, plopping her hat on my head. When you see an apple... What goes through your mind? You, I said, before realising what I was saying. Sounds like you got the trifecta, she said smugly, planting a kiss on the tip of my nose. Besides, she whispered into my ear, truth be told, I'm more than a little infatuated with you myself. We climbed to our feet and started back to the farm. I grabbed her hand, and brought it up to kiss it gently. AJ, I said, you realise we just kinda officially said I love you to each other just now. She nodded. I reckon we did, she said. You know, I said, grinning, you still owe me a kiss from those timed trials you put me through. She grinned and took off sprinting. You'll have to catch me first, Ace. She said as she darted away. I grinned. I may have doubts about things, but I know a sure bet when I see one.